First at five, we now have an in-depth look at the opportunity gaps facing San Antonio's black community. The report was a collaboration between the city's African American Community Fund and the San Antonio Foundation. Eyewitness News reporter Victoria De Leon spoke to them about what the solutions look like moving forward. This report proved some of what many already knew about the inequities facing black families in San Antonio. On the other hand, the report added a lot more that we really didn't know or hadn't fully realized. Bobby Blunt and Patricia Mejia say now it's time to talk that solutions. Really that this data is not just data, it's actually people. In education, for example, black students make up 7% of all Bear County students, but 68% are economically disadvantaged. The report also found they are less likely to be in gifted and talented programs and in AP courses. It's much more than just establishing type programs. We have to build the community also. So it's informing the community. Here's the value of doing this. We they also found that. persistent inequities yeah. in wealth building. 41% of the black population population are homeowners and 1% own businesses with employees, but they make up 6% of the population in San Antonio and New Braunfels. Bobby and Patricia say the solution could start with increasing access to financial literacy. It could mean how to build credit. Um, how to establish a bank account, things that some people take for granted. If that hadn't been something that your family did, that you need some guidance on how to do that. Black San Antonians were found to be overrepresented in the criminal legal system. November 18th, 2020, they made up 25% of the people held in the Bear County Jail for misdemeanor offenses. Since the release of the report, Bobby says they've launched a new program with San Antonio Police. To help improve the relationships between the community, especially the community that doesn't have that trust with the police officer and also with the police force that doesn't have that experience within the, the community itself. The report outlined the importance of looking at how these issues are interconnected and how crucial collaborating will be among the entire city. It's going to take a full community, nonprofits, corporations, uh, foundations. Victoria De Leon, Kent's 5 Eyewitness News.